I wanted to show um, an animation that demonstrates the different combinations of plate tectonics. Um, you see in this animation here, I can take a continental crust and a, let's see, an oceanic crust. I have my choice between old and young. Doesn't really matter for this one. I'll take a young oceanic crust. And you can see that the, the oceanic crust is much thinner than the continental. And I have this little lever here that's going to push that oceanic crust and converge it into the continental. And you'll see that the oceanic crust will subduct, sink into the mantle. And as it sinks, it will melt. And you'll see the magma over here building and building and forcing its way up. And through the continental crust, and you see all this volcanic activity here and the development of volcanoes. Okay, let's reset it, and let's see, let's take two continental crusts, all right, and we have three options here, um, and here, I didn't mention it before, um, time elapsed, and you can see that um, they'll clock, clock out the motion of these crusts in millions of years, so uh, keep in mind that this happens very, very slowly over long, long periods of time. Um, let's converge them, let's use the green arrows and push them into one another and there's no subduction here they just build build and build and you have large building of mountains here with that converging all right let's put on two more continental crusts and let's see let's do the blue arrows that's uh, going toward the screen <clears throat> and here the crust will move parallel to one another and what is a transform boundary okay where you have um, one plate going one direction and the other plate going the opposite direction parallel to one another okay and reset and then we have one more I think All right which one did we do the red arrows and we're going to have a, div a divergent boundary and the plates are going to move away from one another and you see the formation of a rift valley so you see the continental crust and it dips down into a shape of a valley all right lower lower in elevation and we have a rift valley okay all right um, what haven't I done how about two oceanic crusts um, oh, let's see let's keep track here we'll put the young one on the left and the old one on the right keep track and um, we can diverge them pull them apart and what you end up with is an illustration of what's happening at the mid-ocean ridge in, uh, in the Atlantic Ocean the plates moving away from one another and the magma coming up building new seafloor okay reset put the young on the left old on the right and then again using the blue arrow we have them moving in parallel again transform boundary and then let's see what happens when we converge that one we have young and young and we're going to converge them, or I'm sorry, young and old. Young over here, old over here. And we have the old crust converge, or I'm sorry, subducting underneath the young oceanic crust. Okay. And the development of underwater volcanoes. Okay. All right, so let's put the young over here. Um, let's do two young oceanic crusts. How about that? And the red arrow, no surprise, right? Another divergent boundary. Young and young. And let's see what happens um, here. Transform boundary. Oh, I thought we would have. I guess I guess they're not going to show two two convergence. Okay. All right, I think I covered them all. Um, I hope it kind of cleared up what happens with plate tectonics. All right, thanks a lot.